Hey everybody, I'm Randa Frank P, and today I'm gonna to bring you a review of the Logitech MX Masters mouse, just released a few weeks ago, and it's one of the top mice you can buy for you know your daily usage. Now, if you're like me, if you're a content creator, if you're constantly editing videos, or editing photos, anything like that, you know you're going to need a mouse with a lot of functionality, uh, great ergonomics, and just overall great quality build. For the long run, it's gonna make everything easier on you. Uh, in the past, I just used my Logitech, uh, the Proteus Core G502, I believe it is, for gaming and stuff, but it wasn't ever really the best for editing, and on my MacBook Pro, I'm using my trackpad, it gets kind of annoying and, you know, just not, it's not convenient for editing videos. The MX Master is a new mouse from Logitech that makes everything that I do a lot easier. Taking a look around the mouse itself, you will see that it has a very similar design to the older mice that Logitech put out. Uh, and this is pretty much like the big brother of the very popular ones that a lot of YouTubers use to edit videos. But it still kind of has that same similar form factor to it. As you can see, they went with a nice matte black finish. It's kind of rubberized with a kind of goldish, copperish accents um, around the for, the, for the trim of the mouse. On the side, you will see your battery indicator right there, which is going to indicate, you know, how much battery life you have left. Um, up top, you will find which is a very cool new addition, and it's very helpful for me when I'm editing videos, so I can just, you know, scroll up and down really quickly on my timeline. It's a little scrolling wheel. You have your up and down buttons, or your forward and backward buttons that we've seen on many mice in the past. And one button I didn't know this mouse even had until I bought it was, you know, right on this little sort of tessellated texture where your thumb's going to rest, right where your thumb sits, that is actually a button, and it's similar to like the mission command or the command control on the MacBook Pro where it just, you know, zooms all your windows out, you can pick from stuff on there. You can change what this button actually does and the functionality options on their software, but I thought it was very cool that they even included this uh, little secret gesture button. On the bottom, you have your typical on-off switch, your connect button, which is going to pair it to the USB dongle, the optical sensor, and a one, two, and three button. And what this does is, you can pair this simultaneously to three different devices at all times. So I can have one as being my gaming PC when it's plugged in there, and number two can be just using it wirelessly through the Bluetooth on my MacBook Pro. At the switch of a button, just from hitting one to two, I can use it back and forth on my two different devices. And obviously up top, you have your left click, your right click, your scrolling wheel, and this button changes the functionality of the scrolling wheel. You can have your endless scroll option where you click it and you just you know scroll once and it'll keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, or your usual scrolling feel, which is, you know, you'll, you'll feel the little the scroll when you click it as this, the second option. Switching from using a gaming mouse for so long, it is definitely more hefty, it is a bigger design, that's only to make it more comfortable in your hands. Um, a lot of people I've found on you know different forums and reviews, they said that they had some connectivity issues with their Bluetooth. Um, the, the pairing wasn't the issue, it was that with the Bluetooth there was some sort of lagging and uh, you know juddering when they were using it on their device, but I have not found any lagging issues uh, it doesn't zigzag on me or anything. It, my experience so far has been very, very great, and it's very smooth and accurate from you know what I'm trying to do when I'm using the mouse. People also complain that they want the option to put in a physical battery, but I am a fan of them switching to just charging the device while you're using it or charging it while you're not using it when the battery gets low because not only does it make it lighter, it just makes it more convenient to plug in when it's dying instead of having to buy physical batteries and replace them every now and then when it turns off or dies. And speaking of batteries, this one is phenomenal. This can hold up to 40 days on a single charge, which is a lot better than most devices out there that are wireless. So like I said, my experience so far has been very, very positive. It just makes editing videos and editing photos for the channel a lot easier because of the different functionality and buttons that they have on the mouse. The scrolling up and down on the side where your thumb is is something that I never knew I really wanted or would use until this mouse gave me that option. It is just a lot easier to use for like scrolling up and down on my timeline or zooming things in and out when I am editing videos. I'm also a huge fan of that gesture button that I mentioned before. I think it's a really, really nice addition. And I like the tessellated texture look to it. I think it's also a nice touch. I'm not the biggest fan of the copperish, 
bronze trim on the mouse. I would have preferred something like maybe silver to fit in more with like a neutral setup, but I'm not going to dock any points off of it overall. You know, it's just a minor color trim on the mouse. So if you are a content creator on YouTube, you edit videos while you're editing photos, pretty much you're doing anything but gaming with this, I would highly recommend this mouse. And the reason I wouldn't recommend it for gaming is because you know, you know you can't really change your DPI on the fly. There's no like accurate sniper button like most uh, mice do, such as the Proteus G502 core that I have, um, which has that sniper button on the side, which makes the DPI really, really low for you know fine sniping and stuff like that. This doesn't have that, but then again, this isn't geared towards gamers. This is not a gamer's mouse. This is an everyday user's mouse, or if you're like us, a content creator's mouse. But for the price, what it can do, and just the 40-day battery is just amazing. And uh, you can actually use this instead of, if you don't want it to be wireless, you can just plug it right in and use it without having to use up the battery on it. So just for all the options it gives you, for just the overall usage of it, I would definitely recommend this mouse. I love it. Alright everybody, it's my review of the Logitech MX Masters mouse, a great mouse for YouTubers alike. If you have any questions, definitely comment down below, or you can always hit me up on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. I'm always on Twitter talking to my fans and doing little channel updates and sneak peeks, stuff like that on there. I'm always on Twitter, so you can, you know, it'd be a lot easier to hit me up on there, at RandomFrankP. Like the video, give it a thumbs up to show your support. If you haven't already, guys, please hit subscribe. I've done a ton of tech videos in the past. I got a ton planned for the future. Summer is right around the corner, and I got a lot of stuff coming out this summer, guys. I think you're going to enjoy it a lot. So if you like this video, you like tech stuff, definitely hit subscribe. All right, everybody, this is my review of the Logitech MX Masters. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.